I am so grateful for Chavel Stewart for just doing that song. Mm. I remember when we met him, I, I was at the St. Catherine High School and we were on stage mm. and the St. Catherine High School choir was, was ministering. And I looked around and I saw that young man and I saw a powerful anointing on him that would take him to the nations. And indeed, he is one of the worshipers. Mm. He's a young man who is really dedicated to the Lord and has sold his life out to the Lord. And I just want, I just want to just say, Chavel, God bless you. Um, you shared my story a while ago, 2007. I had a dream that I was at in a massive auditorium as far as your eyes could see. And there was so much foolishness going on stage. My Lord, hallelujah. And I was on stage to the back and I just went down into the crowd. And when I went down into the crowd, I saw a little boy. He was about six years old. He was battered. He was bruised. He was dirty. He was damaged. He was everything, everything that could be wrong with a little boy. And he was crying and he was dirty and he was hurting and he was bleeding and he was bloody, everything. And I looked at him and I said, what's your name? And he said, my name is the word. Take me to the stage. My God, I lifted him up. And when I got to the stage and put him down, he was instantly healed. And all of a sudden, the healing virtue of God began to flow across that massive audience. And you may wonder why we talk about word vibes so mm. much, but it's because I've had several encounters with he who is the word. He mm. is about his eternal word and his word has a vibe. Hallelujah. Yes, yes. His word has a vibe. I remember even last year, October, I went to, to Portland. And while, when we went to Portland, as, I, as soon as I hit Portland, the Lord said, go back to the Port Antonio High School Conference. And I went back there and I put on a dance. And trust me, a dance that was done by a radical group of young people. And that dance mm. just radically shifted my focus. And yesterday evening, I saw one of those young ladies who was dancing. And I just said, God, you have, you have intentionally over the years, strategically set us with these young people across the nations of the world. Mm. And you have put it in their hearts to draw close to the word. It's not Hallelujah. The excellency of the power is not of us. And I did give credit and honor to, to, to who honor is due. I spoke about the principals and the pastors and the, 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 the many persons who has helped us to yes, get the yes. Christian teachers and, and marriages honorable and mm -hmm. passion and purity and the things that we do up. But I remember distinctly, and I'm going to share this story. I remember distinctly in 2007 when the Lord said, awake to righteousness and sin and not the word was a burning in my heart for days i didn't know what to do with it because guess what when you have done all that god has told you to do stand stand and be bold stand and be steadfast mm. just like how the word on eternal father is burning now hallelujah in our hearts since january through the mm. lord's prayer mm. and then god in his wisdom has said this emancipation day mm -hmm. tell the world from jamaica Jamaica, yeah. a country where your, 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 your national mm. anthem is a prayer. Tell them, tell mm. them, hallelujah, tell yes. them that I don't just want them to be, to, to know me as creator. Mm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Mm. I want them to know me as creator of this, of the, of the, of the new creation in Christ. Amen. And so it was in 2007, the word was bubbling in my spirit. Wow. And I remember, I remember speaking to my pastor at the time, Bishop Carlin Riley. And I, I went to her house and I, I when mm. I went there, I was, I, I just dropped on the floor and began to weep, mm. weep. And I said, guess what? I can't shake it. I see young people with banners going across the nation. I see in my in my mind's eye, mm. and hallelujah, you are there, Andrew. We see yes. hundreds, we see thousands of young people. Yes. And, and guess what? Amen. Hallelujah. And and we we see, we, we saw it afterwards, mm. but guess what? It was burning there. And and guess what? She said, Okay, mm. okay, we're gonna do everything that we can do to help you to get this across mm. this nation. Amen. Let me just say that God is faithful. Mm. God is faithful, and and in 
in, in that same time, hallelujah, Bishop, Bishop Carly Riley said to me, because two years before that, I had, I had said, God, one day God woke me up on Ash Wednesday. You were there mm -hmm. and said, gather the, teacher, the teachers of this nation All and right. begin to pray. Number three. Hallelujah. <laughs> and, and trust me, we, we, we started to pray out of Shortwood. God bless Mrs. Foster Island. God bless Dr. Clover Hamilton Flowers. And trust me, out of praying for two years, mm. God birthed out passion and purity in 2008. Mm. God is awesome. And I'm here to say that mm. our father, our father has mm. stepped inside of a global pandemic. Mm. Hallelujah. And he says that the name I want to be magnified in this season mm. is hallelujah is father. Mm. I want to have Hallelujah. I want to have many sons unto glory. Mm. And so therefore he has been burning the word in our hearts. And I'm not going to go over what we shared this morning, but there's a scripture that's on my heart that I want to put right now before you. The Lord mm. says, 2 Corinthians 6, verse 17 to 18, because the truth is not everyone that you see even in church. Even in church. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Can call God father. Right. For 4,000 years, nobody called him father. When Jesus stepped on the scene and said, father, they thought he was blaspheming. But he said, if I go away, I will send another comforter. Hallelujah. He mm -hmm. prophesied of the day when we would be one with his father through the new birth. And I'm here to tell you that in order to be a son of God, you must be born again by the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. And, and so he's saying in 2 Corinthians 17, uh, 6 verse 17 to 18, mm -hmm. wherefore come out from among them, says the Lord, mm -hmm. and be separate says the Lord, and touch not the unclean thing, right. and I will receive you, and will be a father unto you, and ye shall be my sons and daughters, mm -hmm. says the Lord God Almighty. God is this evening making a clarion call across the nations, and he had me to know earlier that these videos are going to travel far. Hallelujah. That he has decreed and declared that his word will not come, will not return to him void. At the beginning of this year, he said to, to us too that he has given us grace and glory. Do you know what glory is? God's glory is his manifested excellence. Hallelujah. His manifested excellence, which is his Holy Spirit. And he has given us his grace, his divine enablement. And this is a new day we have stepped mm. into. I'm telling you, we are going to be seeing miracles of, of, of proportions that we have never seen before because God has taken the stage. He has taken the stage to every pure, true apostolic house that is on the globe. He has taken the, the stage and he is making us invisible as he steps on the stage and say, I am father and I want many children unto glory. So this is a call for you to experience him as father. Some of you this evening, you are on this call and you know him as father. You remember a time when he was on, he was your father because you remember the day when he stepped in your heart and your spirit cried, Abba, father. You were totally new. You were filled with the Holy Spirit. But the cares of this life, unforgiveness, hurt, um, loss, um, sexual encounters that you were violated. There are lots of things that probably have harnessed your spirit. But the Holy Spirit is here this evening and he is saying liberty to the captives i want you to type in your chat liberty this is emancipation day mm. and we celebrate the emancipators of the past who mm. brought us hallelujah and this they, they, their lives brought us into freedom from slavery mm. this is what today is all about but god has said i am about spiritual liberation this evening mm. i want to free you i want to free you he said he said he's saying if anybody that is bound by a homosexual spirit, anybody that is bound by a spirit of rejection, anybody that is bound mm. by a spirit of loss, if you ever come in contact with your father and you watch his loving eyes look into your eyes by faith, it hallelujah, it breaks. 
It breaks the bondage because you feel, as faith said, a love that you have never, ever felt before. And so this evening, we speak to you who are online in the name of Jesus, and we command your spirit to look up and live at your father. Hallelujah. I'm speaking to those who are feeling so much pain right now, and you are watching me. Hallelujah. And you are ill. Do you know that my father, our father, is a healer? Mm. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. You may be in a prison um, situation. You may be incarcerated mm. naturally and physically, but the Holy Spirit is come this evening to say, I am your father. Somebody mm. shout father. Mm. Somebody father. shout father. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes. We want to experience him afresh okay. this evening. Hallelujah. Mm. He said, guess what? The only person on the universe that can make you and give you eternal life is your eternal father. Don't let nobody fool you. Hallelujah. All the gods of the world are idols. None of them can give you eternal life. But your father comes this evening to give you eternal life. And if you are a Christian, he wants to perfect you. He wants to mature you. He wants to grow you up. He wants to give you an inheritance among the sanctified. So we make a clarion call this evening and we call you into sonship. This is not just a one-time event for us. We don't believe in just one-time event. We have platforms of daily discipleship. We have, um, we have conferences. We have camps. We are attached. We are, we are connected to apostolic houses that can finish the work and take you all the way into righteousness. We were shaped we were prepared for this, Andrew. Mm. This is our time. Hallelujah. And we are saying, God, take the stage. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Just about one more experience. About uh, Just about um, four years ago, right? I was sitting in my, in, in, in my room and I, I had a vision of a man with a gun pointed. Mm. Hallelujah. It, like, it was as though he had a gun pointed. I saw his face. And he was ready to kill someone. And I heard on the Holy Spirit say, get up and post a word vibe. The word has a vibe. Hallelujah. And I could see the power of that word in his heart. What our nation needs. Hallelujah. God's not going to bless us in our mess. I'm telling you. Hallelujah. He, yes, there will be natural blessings that will abound because he makes his blessings to shine on the just and the unjust. But he says, I have spiritual blessings for you. And when spiritual blessings come in your life, grace and peace is multiplied to you through the knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ. And with that grace, hallelujah, it comes, it gives you an ability to be fruitful, to be productive, to have the grace of God flowing out of your life to make your mark. How you see all of that craziness that's happening in our nation now. God wants the name of Jesus to be lifted up. He wants his word exalted. Hallelujah. And this is what this even about. He wants many of us, hallelujah, who know him as father to live as his sons so that as he allows people to encounter us, they will encounter him who to know is life eternal. Mm. I want to challenge you right now if you're watching and you know that God is not your spiritual father. As Andrew said earlier on in this presentation, he was just making a clarion call, just like I am doing now to say, if God is not your father, you will miss eternity. If God is not your father, and I mean by way mm. of the new birth, you must have the Holy Spirit in your heart. And guess what? He comes. He comes with all of himself. I'm not talking about getting baptized because we have many people in Jamaica who are baptized, but they never yet encountered the Holy water. Spirit. Yes. I'm going to encourage you to go in the, the, the YouTube and the Facebook and watch this morning's message because we put in perspective how you connect with the Heavenly Father. What stops you from connecting with your Heavenly Father mm -hmm. and what connecting with him can do. We want to pray this evening for you that the entrance of God word will bring you light hallelujah we are thanking god for this opportunity and we are saying that as we continue throughout the year god is saying as he is 
As Jesus is, so are we. Who would reject an offer where God, the eternal father, makes you a joint here with Christ and a hear of God? Only a fool because the, the, the devil has blinded our eyes, but light has come into the world. And there's someone online this evening. Tonight is a landmark evening for you. You will never, you will never be the same again. This evening was set up for you and we declare victory in the name of Jesus. If you want to be saved, open your heart and talk to Jesus right now. Andrew is going to go into prayer for you and prayer for the sick as we continue to lift up the mighty and awesome name of Jesus, whose name is being magnified as Father, the true emancipator. God amen. bless you. Amen. Amen. Somebody put a praise on it. Hallelujah. Put a praise on it. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank God you, has determined in the season. Yes, and we Lord. Know we know that we know that we know that this is not just something that we are doing. Yes, Lord. So the Father is here this evening to manifest his love to you. So receive that love right now. Whatever mm. situation you're facing, whatever the need is right now, God not only preaches his word, but mm. his spirit also backs up his word. And that's what he's ready to do right now. And I feel like somebody, if you want to see the glory of God, you need to praise him right now. You need to thank him even for this evening. Thank him for this privilege that you have to hear a word like this, that God is saying, hey, I want to show myself to you like I showed myself to my first son. Mm -hmm. Yes, we declare your father with this evening, Lord. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Somebody yeah. receive it now. Hallelujah. The spirit of God ministering mm -hmm. to you. Hallelujah. Healing in your body. Those of you who are afflicted. Mm -hmm. Yes, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. That an anointing of prayer comes upon you right mm -hmm. now to go through that affliction victoriously. Yes, and to go to the depth of prayer that God calls you to. Yes. In the name of Jesus. Everything you need of God right now. It's mm. available in the Holy Spirit. Yes, Lord. And so, Lord God, we thank you that your word is clear mm. that, Lord, if if we being evil mm. know how to give good gifts to our Hallelujah. children, yes, Lord. how much more will the Holy, will the Father, mm. Heavenly Father, give the Holy Spirit to them that ask? Yes, Lord. Somebody is receiving the Holy Spirit right now. Just lift yeah. up your hands yeah. and begin to worship yeah. God yeah. right yeah. where you are right now. In oh, the name of yeah. Jesus, yeah. Receive that born again experience. Receive that baptism in the spirit yes, that Lord. totally transforms your life. Hallelujah. Put a praise on it. I, yes, I heard Lord. that earlier, almost stopped her as she was sharing. Yes, I heard Lord. all the spirit says, somebody need to put a praise on it. Hallelujah. Yes, God. You've been praying yeah, for your loved mama, ones. Say, 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 yeah. Put a praise on it. Yes, God. You are yes, faithful. Lord. You are eternal father mm. and you are the faithful God that never fails. Mm. Yes, You Lord. never fail. Hallelujah. Your mercies are new today. Yes. Yes, every Lord. morning and we thank you for your new mercies today mm, yes, in the Lord. name of jesus we mm. agree together we are not only praying for you but we are praying with you yes we are Lord. praying with somebody who has been praying and today is the day father reveal yourself yes lord reveal your fatherhood mm. in a mighty way in the name of jesus to your people right now yes lord right now father yes, right lord. now yes, in the lord. name of jesus mm. yes lord and i hear the holy spirit speaking to some of you who need to submit yourself to training yes you can't just be running up and down all over the place and expect god to be all to to, to be all that he wants to be in your life mm. sometimes god put people in your life that can help you to go to the next place mm. in god yes, and lord. you know the spirit of god will be a witness in your spirit and say, I need to, I need to hook up with this person for, 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 for this season. Amen. Hallelujah. You need to be hooked up with this ministry. You need to be following inside of the word. You need to be asking your questions. Some of you have many questions and God wants to answer those questions. Yes, and not only does he want to answer the questions, but ask Job. Job had a million and one question, but God wants to come in and speak his will yes, into your life. In the name of Jesus, we command an entrance of Hallelujah. God's word into your heart, yes, into Lord. your mind, in the name of Jesus so that God's word will open up to you mm. that, 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 that that smoke screen of boredom mm. that surrounds Christianity it goes now hallelujah. in Jesus name yes, in Lord. Jesus name yes, hallelujah we say let the inspiration of the almighty yes. bring understanding hallelujah. now in the name of Jesus some of you have stopped short 
at water baptism, mm -hmm. but there is something more in God yes, called Lord. the baptism of the Holy Spirit mm -hmm. in the name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. Receive that now. Yes, Lord. In Jesus' name. Come Hallelujah. on, just let the Father know that you're receiving. Say, yes, Hallelujah, Lord Jesus. Jesus. I receive from you. Yes, John said, Lord. I baptize you with water. Yes, Lord. But there is one coming after me who shall baptize you with the Holy Ghost. Yes, Lord. Right now. Hallelujah. Say, Lord Jesus, I'm ready. Baptize me, Lord, yes, with the Lord. Spirit of God. Yes, Lord. In Hallelujah. Jesus' name. I just want to say to a, um, a young lady online, you are you, you are unsure of your future and you are so depressed right now. I felt a spirit of depression coming right now in the name of Jesus. Mm. Hallelujah. Open your heart right now. Some of you need to get on your knees and the anointing in this call. Lift mm. up your hands before God and begin to call him Father. Mm. Hallelujah. Yes, Hallelujah. Yes, Hallelujah. Yes. Yes, I Father. feel the Holy Spirit wants us yes, to Father. lift your hands right where you are mm. now. He's going to open your heart to receive mm. him in a new way as yes. hallelujah, hallelujah as he announces himself as the father of mercies Amen. hallelujah as the father of glory yes, hallelujah yes. the father of glory father the of father light. of our lord jesus mm. christ the father of light yes. hallelujah he yes. has stepped yes. into yes. the earth in the name of jesus hallelujah. and from this nation he is saying i am your father many of you have called him our father you can hear the young men on the street saying, Father God, hallelujah, many bound by a Rastafarian spirit and you say, Father God, or you hear them, um, see them, Father God, and it's all about Father God, but hallelujah, but God says, I long to be revealed for who I am mm. because my image of fatherhood has been marred in the earth, but in the name of Jesus, I declare that this evening, the image, the real image of the Father, the mm. Father of glory, will be revealed through the sons of God who will, who will make a difference. Let me tell you what, I, 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 we thank God for our upbringing because we had men in our lives through the church of God of prophecy that we both grew up in that were strong, mm. solid men who stood for righteousness and who pointed us to the cross and who mm. spoke nothing but uncompromised truth. And God led us on to Bible Teachers International. He has led us on to Dr. Bill Hammond's so many different apostolic flows where we see men and women who are standing up for righteousness who encountered God in a time, in a time, in a time. Mm. Hallelujah. We give God praise this evening. We speak to nations. This was not meant just for Jamaica. This one meant for the spirit of God to be magnified mm. as fathers across the four corners of the earth. God has decreed it. God has declared it and we give him thanks come on put your hands together as we say father Absolutely. hallelujah father hallelujah. we love you father we honor you Praise father you, we glorify you and when we are saying father i want for you to read those mm -hmm. word vibes because god has also given jesus christ a name called father what's his name as father andrew Everlasting He's called Father. Everlasting Amen. Father as prophesied Amen. by Isaiah. So we have God, the Eternal Father, and Jesus Christ, the Everlasting Father through the new creation. And together, Father and Son, they want more sons. Thank you, Lord. And we give you thanks. We speak to nations. Hallelujah. Be open. We speak to strongholds. Hallelujah. Mm. We speak to, to demonic hordes and spirits of darkness. Hallelujah. Who are holding people captive, who have marred the image of fatherhood. And in the name of Jesus Christ, mm. as we go forth and as we declare the word of fatherhood, we will see many prodigal sons running home as the father stretched forth his hand Amen. in this time. Amen. Just one last Hallelujah. word. I, I really feel the those who have been going through mm. a lot of trials. You're, you've been going through a lot of trials. Hallelujah. The Spirit of God is saying that he's ready in this season to cause you to begin to comprehend, yes. to begin to understand what I'm you're going through. Word. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. And, so, and so you need to be obedient to the instruction of God. You know, you need to be obedient. Follow us, work with us. Glory to God. We'll do you good. Glory to God. We'll, we'll help you to understand your trials. Mm -hmm. The spirit of God is, is ready to help you in this season. Some of you that it's, it's going to come through connecting with us. Others of you is going to be as you obey the instruction of the spirit of God really in aligning yourself with those who, who, who he has prepared in his word. 
the understanding of what you're going through mm. and the purpose of suffering in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We bless you, mighty God, and we honor you for what you're doing right now mm. in the hearts and minds of your people Hallelujah! to stabilize them. The Bible said after you have suffered a while, God is able to establish you, settle you, and make you perfect in Jesus' name. We bless speak you. to nations. This day is a defining day for you. All right. This day was carved out in eternity for you. I remember the day, mm. the exact day, when mm. God spoke to me as a young child and said, will you go for me? Mm. Will you give me your heart? Mm. Hallelujah. Will you allow me to use you as a minister of the gospel of Jesus mm. Christ? And I said yes to him. Hallelujah. And he shortly after used my life as a 12 year old to start teaching Sunday school. And by 90, 18 years old, I was a youth pastor for five churches and the main church had over 100 young people. Hallelujah. And when I met him, he, uh, Andrew, mm. <laughs> hallelujah, he too had had an encounter with God mm. and was very, very, very engaged in ministry. Hallelujah. But with ministry comes training. And so many of you, you, you are saying yes to God this evening. And, and the yes mm. comes with him putting you, as you said before, mm. on a track where you will be trained in ministry, where mm. you will go to Bible schools. Um, we will recommend you to Bible schools. We will recommend you. We will mm. pour into your life what we can but also some of you are already on a track and god is well mm. pleased with you just continue on the track you know you're on the track when you are walking in the power of the word mm. walking in the power of the holy spirit mm -hmm. and in the name of jesus i want for you this evening if you are one that is saying and when god says who will go for me put your hand up hallelujah he will prepare you all he needs is a yes put your hands up up, put your hands up before yes, the Lord in the name of Amen. Jesus, Lord. For those who are saying this evening, God, I will go for you. They know you are putting it in their hearts. Like, hallelujah. Acknowledge. Come hallelujah. On. Acknowledge that you have heard God this evening. Who will go for me? Mm -hmm. I said yes. Who will say yes this evening? And he's not going to send you okay, anywhere. Right. He's going to train you. you hallelujah. So put your hands up as you surrender afresh to the Lord. Your mm -hmm. father, Amen. hallelujah. Amen. We speak to nations, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes. We speak to strongholds, hallelujah. be broken, hallelujah. Yes, so the father is, is mantling, is, is positioning people to uh receive uh that that kind of, of training. You see, when we obey the Lord, Jesus, the scripture says that in Isaiah 6, after Isaiah had experienced with the Lord. The, the, he heard the Lord saying, who will go for us? Yeah. The angel had already took the fire off the altar and put it on his lips. You know, he, he, uh, Isaiah was already serving God, you know, but there are different seasons in our lives when, when the call comes stronger. Uh, I, you know, I just don't know how to say it, but I just know it's real. Amen. Something more in God. And, and some of you are recognizing that this evening is special for you. And God, that God is calling you into something. Yes, and we see those names already. And um, if there are other persons, we're giving you another 30 seconds. Hallelujah. We're going to give you another 30 seconds to respond and to say, yes, God, I, I feel the call of God on my life. And I, I feel a need for special uh, training, special equipping. Yes, that's what we are about. We are about equipping God's people to be effective soldiers for the gospel. God is calling for soldiers. Hallelujah. And that's what God is doing in this season. He's raising up soldiers for the cross. Not just, not just people who warm benches, not just people who, you know, just, just give a little dibba dabba do, but, but people who go full hundred for God. Mm -hmm. And I felt that, I felt that, um, that, that, that unction of the spirit a couple of days now. And I, and I know that God is speaking to some people about just going all out for him. Come on, somebody. The Bible said, if you, if you save your life, you will lose it. Mm -hmm. But if you lose your life for my sake and Hallelujah. the gospels, mm -hmm. you will find it. Glory to God. And, and God is saying, listen, we, we're not going to be hesitant. We're not going to be holding back. We're going to be going forth in his name. So, so, so I want you to acknowledge that. And we want, we, I've taken down three of those names. If you're another person who feel like God is calling you, we want you to, to, to put your hand up or, or, or 
private texts or something, Amen. but we know there are some on YouTube and Facebook. Mm -hmm. We are also going to be asking you to do something. Type yes in the in on Facebook or something. Do an act of obedience. That Amen. act of obedience, the angels of God will will note that. Glory to God. And as we publicly identify with Christ, the Bible says, if you are not ashamed of me, I'll not be ashamed before you, bef of, uh, not be ashamed of you before my father and before his holy angels. So God will, God will call your name. Jesus will call your name before his father and his holy angels. That's a good thing. Amen. Glory to God. So Amen. acknowledge that we're going to pray for, for you in a moment. Mm. Hallelujah. I just want to say to a young man who is watching, take, say yes. This evening you came on. Give him that radical yes. Mm, yes. Give him that radical yes. He's calling you. He's, he's bigger than your problems. He's stronger than drugs and alcohol. Mm. Hallelujah. He's stronger than anything that can bind you and hold you captive. Mm. He is declaring liberty to the captives. Father, we just release your anointing and your grace. Yes. We thank you for the kingdom of God. The angels know that have seen those yeses, those responses. Yes, and we thank you, mighty God, that as of this day, mm. the revelation of fatherhood mm. takes on a new, mm. a new, um, a new, a new, takes persons into a new vista in the spirit, mm. new places in the spirit. Spirit, new understandings, new comprehension, and new experiences of training and equipping mm -hmm. that makes them mighty in the kingdom for the purposes of God. We tell you thanks, Amen. Father. Yes, Lord. So we just thank you, Father, for what you're doing. We thank you for the, your spirit that is being released to, to arrest Hallelujah. the works of darkness in people to break the yokes of bondage. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Only you can really open a man's eyes for him to really see your love, for him to really understand that you care. Yes, God, because there are dark spirits that are holding people captive. Mm. But we thank you now that Hallelujah. those yokes have been destroyed in yeah, your presence yeah, yeah, yeah. and people are coming to an awareness yeah, suddenly yeah, so the of things that they did not we're, we're not aware of before about God and about his word yes, and about Lord. his call on their lives mm. and about the urgency of the moment mm. and about how big God is. Mm. Mm. We mm. thank you, Father, that just as you reveal yourself to Jesus mm. as Father mm. in his time on earth, yes, Lord. so are you ready now to reveal yourself to us mm. as that same Father that you were to Jesus mm. and we give you praise for it. Somebody need to put a praise on it Hallelujah. in Jesus' name. We thank you for what you're doing in Jamaica, mighty God. We say, let your purposes prevail. Let your kingdom come. Continue to populate this nation with sons of God and with mature sons of God who will, who will be game changers and install your purpose and your plan in this nation for the glory of God in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.